Hello all my friends, I'm Oliver from Tokyo Hobby. Nice to see you again. Today I bring you one loader. This is from Leisu. This is a uh, Lipo Hire 636. It is tracked. And you see this almost all the parts are made of metal. Only a few plastic, this plastic window and uh, some uh, uh, LED lights. All other parts you can see is metal. So I prepared battery and uh, this uh, this is not original but I use I just use this one this i6s this controller to try to control this one because from a factory original this one got no receiver got no controller so I just attached one receiver and I connected you can see from uh, here it can be opened here I connected one receiver. This is only 10 channel for this receiver, but later one for standard, at least I should attach to one 12 channel receiver. So later for our customer can upgrade by themselves, I have some spare channel. Okay, so now I will connect the battery. Here we got one pin. So to open this back cover, here got the chamber for the battery. I first switch on the controller. I'll put it to original position. Good. Okay. Power is on. This is why I got a little bit too long. So okay, now I can close. So I put the pin. Okay. Another one. Got a shining chain. Okay, inside looks beautiful. Also got one tooling pin here. Copper one. Okay, so now we will power on to see this function. And then later we will see details of the painting and all the parts. So first we will engine on. Engine on. Okay, we make our horn. This actually the sound is a little low. This is the oil throat if I push. Yeah, this is the max maximum volume. So if I uh, if I ask anybody like we can change to more bigger sound system. Okay, make our horn and then we start. This is for right side motor so each side got one motor for driver left side we make a turning first side turning so as we can see this distance between the two chain is a little big so when it's running a little bumpy it's normal because it got big chain track okay this is the throw Actually, this movement is quite quick. You can see we got big enough stall hydraulic oil pump for this small arm and bucket. We put it down, put it up. So we put down and uh, then we go more forward. We hook up the cargo and then we lift the up. Then we can lower it. Maybe we will see a little bit larger. Let's turn it down. Yeah. I will let you see. Here we got some lights. Okay. This is the warning turning now light. And this light actually have so many modes. I can change. Uh, I didn't remember how much I didn't count. This is another one. Another one. I will change it again. Another one. Also, we got front light and the rear light. I will switch on. You will see. Okay, now lights on. 
also backside we got some lights so actually for this loader this is a basic version so we got one upgraded version it got so for this one this bucket cannot open it's a fixed one and uh, from a rear we don't have this rear side we got no ripper so for upgraded version the bucket can open by hydraulic also we got a hydraulic open uh, control this ripper here for the upgraded version and uh, this for this back basic version so we only control the bucket lower and down so only got two channel this is a hydraulic distribution valve so for the upgraded version we got four channel so because I have more functions got four channel for upgraded one okay as you can see for this one we only have three cylinder here two for the arm one one cylinder for the bucket up and down mm -hmm. Okay, so we get closer to see the bucket and the arm, the painting. So actually, all this painting and uh, all the parts are perfect. I, I never see some defects or very few. All very good skilled painting. And the parts are artificial, like an uh, art, piece of art, very beautiful. This arm or metal. And you see under there we have some uh, what, what is the function of this metal part I'm not sure looks like have some can put something inside and uh, tight by these clips can be removed it's doing some operation okay so you can see the chassis this track the wheels and the rollers Let's see the left side. Let's see. Oh, still the chain, this track. Some mud plate protection. And we got one ladder here for people standing, come to check. Okay, we, we open some doors. It is designed to be, can be opened. I got no fingernail to open. So here is the battery chamber we just see from the back side. So from the side we also can open. The ESC is down there, so you cannot see it's blocked by this battery plate. We can only see some wires here. So let's go to see here. The driving cabin can also be opened. So you can see inside the seats, the controlling board. From the front, from the side, it is well designed with this screen also showing some numbers. Very beautiful. Okay, so we can see from this side also we got doors can be opened. We got another cover here is a toolbox. So you can put some small parts or tools here for, for spare using. We got here also another door. Actually inside is one power switch. It's for all the power. Yes, see everything power is here. Control power switch. And also here I have one toolbox. Very small. From here you can see the hydraulic oil pressure gauge. You can see the pressure. So maybe I move a little to see if you can change. You can see the oil pressure change. Uh -huh. Oil pressure now is 2.2, around 2.2. You can see 2.2. 2.2 bar around with the oil pressure. So from here I have another door. We also this one closed. Same from rear, it is only I will open it again to let you see. So from the back side, we only see the 
battery chamber because the ESC is down there. The voltage control pressure, this one voltage control also is down there, cannot see. And we got two switch for the ESC because we got two motors for, for the driver. Another one, the ESC for the hydraulic oil pump is down there, we cannot see from here. Okay, so this is basically what we can see uh, from the outside. Put this inside. So later we will show the upgraded version for this uh, uh, 636 loader. And uh, actually this one also got quite interesting and beautiful art of work. And uh, for tomorrow, I will bring another one, upgraded version, we will put together and run it a little bit to see which one you like better. But as for function, upgraded have more. For sure, it's better, but price also different, yeah? And uh, for the upgrades, to upgrade, I have to say, sound system, light system, and uh, to put some more spare parts, it can all be done for upgrading. So what you like, can talk to me. Thank you much. So, we will see you. We'll see you together again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you.